So I mentioned this in my prediction video for White Knight, Yusuf versus Barboza. You know, watch out for Christian Rodriguez when it comes to the weigh-ins. And what happened? He missed weight once again. You know, this is getting ridiculous now for this guy. You know, he's only made bantam weight once in his last five fights. He's made he he was a, he missed weight against Ra Reyes Cortez. Then he fought a fight at a catch weight of 150. Then he was at featherweight. He and then he made it against Weems. And then he missed it against Raul Rosas, and now he's missed it against again against Cameron Simon. Like, like this is just getting this is becoming a joke. The guy just can't make weight. It seems like anymore. And I think uh, it's like it's time for him to just fully stay at featherweight now, because it's you can't just keep mo missing weight all of these fights, and then you know he because he, he he came in f four pounds over the bantamweight limit. You know, either he's too big for this weight class or he's not disciplined enough to fight at bantamweight. He needs to move up. You know, he's put it, he put so many fights at risk, this guy. It's why he didn't get signed, even knowing he had a great performance over Reyes Cortez. You know, he's a good fighter, uh, C-Rod. Like, he's generally a very good fighter. He's underrated. You know, I thought that him versus Raul Rosas wasn't the tune-up that people thought it was for Raul Rosas. And then, you know, C-Rod came and got it done. But generally, I think... He needs to move up to featherweight because it's, it's becoming a joke. You know, three weight misses at bantamweight is insane. He's only made it once in his... In, so he's had four... In his last four bantamweight fights, he's, he's missed weight three times. That that's, that's fucking ridiculous. The guy needs to move up a weight class. They're like, there's no, there's no if, buts, or maybes. You either cut him... Which I don't think they should cut him. I think he is a generally a very talented fighter. He had a competitive fight with uh, Jonathan Pierce, who is a good fighter in his own right. And generally, I think the only thing that makes sense is that he moves up after this fight, win, lose, or draw against Cameron Simon. He can't just keep missing weight like this. Three times is too much. You know, Dana White contender series, he fucked himself over. He would have got a contract there, but no, he comes in and misses weight. Then he misses weight against Raul Rosas. You know, one pound over. Still bad that he missed weight, but not... I think, actually, was it a pound and a half? It might have been a pound and a half. Let me check. You know, still not good, but, you know, it's not a ridiculous weight miss. So, yeah, it was a pound and a half. Still not good. What was he on? He was two pounds over on the Reyes-Cortez fight. And he's a young guy. He's 25. I think it's time he moves up because he obviously can't make the weight safely. And now against Cameron Simon, weighing 140 for a bantamweight fight, that's just too much. That's that's too big of a weight miss. You gotta fucking move up, buddy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if you don't feel confident fighting at featherweight for some reason, but you're not a fucking bantamweight because you keep missing weight. You either can or you cannot make the weight. And I'm seeing that fucking three times out of four, you're gonna miss the bantamweight limit. So instead of putting all these fights at risk. You know, if Cameron Simon didn't get a fight and had to fly all the way out from South Africa, I wouldn't fucking blame him if he was pissed off. But he's luckily this fight's still on. But, you know, you don't have people travel all across the fucking world to come fight you and then miss weight. It just doesn't work that way. You know, you have to move the fuck up. That's it. There's no other option for you. You're a good fighter, C-Rod. You know, Christian Rodriguez, you're a talented guy. You're a very good fighter. You're 25 years old. You're young. Don't ruin your career fucking trying to cut to a weight class you shouldn't be cutting to anymore. You're just losing purses. You're losing all your money. And you're going to get cut if you don't fucking just go move up to featherweight. What, what's the big deal? You had a competitive fight with Jonathan Pierce on short notice who was a good fighter in the featherweight division. Just fucking move up, man. I, I don't understand it. I really don't. Like, surely after a while you'd realize, shit, you know, it's not nice losing 20-30% of my purse every fight. Maybe I should just move up a weight division. You know, it'd be healthier for you, because obviously you're having bad weight cuts if you can't make 136. It's like three times out of four. So yeah, I, th I think I think Christian Rodriguez needs to move his fucking ass up a weight class. Like, generally just get just fucking move up. What do you lose? You're you're gaining 20-30% of your fucking purse at the very least because you keep missing fucking weight and losing your money. 
You know, I'm 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 upset for him here. He, he's losing all his money. He's doing all these training camps and then losing 20, 30 percent of his purse. You know, there's potential bonuses and shit like that that he'll miss out on now. Now, I still think Cameron Simon's going to win this, but you know that is a big weight miss. Who knows what type of advantage he's going to have here in the strength for anything like that? But I, I still think that you know Cameron Simon is the better fighter here, and I think he is going to beat. Christian Rodriguez in a pretty dominant performance, I feel like. Maybe C-Rod's going to be really compromised here because of the weight cut. Like, I, I don't understand it. Like, the guy, he doesn't look that big. Like, how tall is he? He's 5'7". He doesn't even look like a massive, massive bantamweight, but the guy just keeps fucking missing weight, so. Like, I don't know. He, he doesn't look that big to me, but the guy can't make the weight, like, I don't know. It's weird to me. Like, I feel like Reyes Cortez was bigger than him. So, yeah, I don't know. I mean, Junior Cortez. Why do I keep calling him Reyes Cortez? Okay, no, his name is Reyes Cortez. I was like, what the fuck? Okay, yeah, so Junior Reyes, also known as Reyes, Reyes Cortez. But yeah, like, Reyes Cortez looked bigger than him, but he made weight. So, I don't know. Maybe Christian Rodriguez just isn't disciplined enough. I'm not sure. I don't understand the reason, but just move up a weight class because you got to stop missing weight, buddy. Like, you're going to fuck your whole career up. The UFC are going to blacklist you if you move, miss weight again. But they'll probably just force you to move up a weight class, you know, at this point. Because, you know, you can't just keep missing weight like this. But, uh, yeah, that's all I've got to say. I, I still I still got Chris, uh, Cam Cameron Simon getting this one done. Especially with the weight cut. I think maybe he's going to be a bit depleted in there. But, yeah, I like Cameron Simon to get this one done. And, yeah, that's all I've got to say. But, yeah, thanks for listening to this little rant. Like, comment, let me know your thoughts on this whole Christian Rodriguez constant weight misses situation. And if you're not already, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.